Hello everyone, it's Piggy Bank with another character guide to our sweetest clown, Lola Pop. Lola Pop is a character with a vast amount of options that gives her flexibility. She also has some subtle traits that may give her some advantage. First, let's look at Lola Pop's grounded options. While holding shield, Lola Pop can walk forwards or backwards. She is able to go slightly diagonally when she does this, which also enables her to move slowly to the right or left while holding shield. If you press the dash button while holding shield, Lola Pop will hop in that direction, giving her an excellent burst movement option. Keep in mind that because this is just her normal shield dash, insta countering will also trigger this hop. If you want to do her normal dash out of shield, you will have to let go of the shield button first. If you press the jump button while holding the shield, Lola will do a spinning high jump. She is able to interrupt the jump with an attack or a rush, but she cannot air dash until she is done spinning. Speaking of Lola's air dash, if you hold the dash button while in the air, Lola will fall to the ground while inflated giving her a shield for one hit. Once she hits the ground, she will bounce. You can change directions during this bounce, and it even allows you to chain the inflation dash back to back. Chaining the aerial inflation dash back to back also allows Lola Pop to continually move while in the air without stopping. You are also able to control the length of the inflation by adjusting how long you hold the dash button. She can bounce up to two times from one inflation dash from a flat surface. However, she may be able to bounce more times if there is a slope long enough. This is because Lola's ability to perform this inflation dash is dependent on her height in the air. If she is too close to the ground, she will not be able to bounce any longer or activate another air dash. Lola's arms will be charged briefly when she bounces from the inflation dash. In addition, you can time an attack just right so that she lands on the ground without bouncing. Weapons like the fun chuck that change behavior depending on being grounded or being in the air will have additional flexibility thanks to this. In addition to these myriad of options Lola has, she has some subtle traits that may give her an advantage. The long grounded dash leaves Lola's arm less vulnerable compared to most of the cast. Usually when a character holds shield, you can tell whether the person is pressing left or right by looking at their arms. However, Lola gives no such information to the opponent. Admittedly, this is a really subtle detail, but in high level play, it might become a factor that can change the outcome of the battle. However, Lola is not without flaws. Unlike other characters, Lola's shield animation must complete before she can dash or jump out of shield. Combine this with Lola's enlarged hurtbox during inflation means that she is extra susceptible to grabs, especially on wake up, if you try to do her out of shield movement options. The same is true with her aerial inflation dashes. Her hurtbox is enlarged and it takes time to come out. Even Lola's normal aerial dash is quite slow and the pose she makes makes it so that she is more vulnerable to attacks. As extra bits, if you shield jump on Cinema Deus limousines, you will do the spinning high jump instead of the regular high jump. If you bounce on a snake board, you will not get on the snake board unless you time an attack as you land to prevent the bounce. While on the snake board, Lola cannot use her grounded out of shield movement options, instead she is forced to use her normal dash or jump. You can high jump while inflated on a trampoline by holding both the dash and jump button, as long as you don't do it back to back. Thank you everyone for watching. If I missed anything, or if there are other tips or quirks regarding Lola Pup, share below in the comments. I'll see you around in another guide. Next up is our flamboyant commissioner, Max Brass. See you then.